Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jill Suds and Soaps. Uh, what I wanted to do today was, I wanted to make these, um, I just love these molds, these ice cream molds. But I wanted to do it kind of like a little um, Halloween-ish. So this is a pure rebatch. So in other words, I had made these bars uh, and not used them and I will scent these as well. Um, so that's, that'll be the base. I am going to add orange. This is a really neon orange, and this one's a more tame orange. I'm going to just, you know, make, blend these together and see what I get. Now, what I've been doing, okay, so I have the brown here, and that's with a few sprays of rubbing alcohol. So I just wanted it to appear to be like chocolate chips or chocolate. Hopefully you can see. Just kind of dab. Just in random areas. I am so glad fall is coming. That Fall and Christmas are my favorite, or winter I should say, my favorite times of the year. So cleanup won't be hard on this either. Um, if if uh, soap and water doesn't work, rubbing alcohol will. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. See, this is more of a um, chunky. And this one's more just of the chips. They're smaller chips. I just love doing this kind of stuff. It's so fun. All right, three down. I might make all of these orange and then maybe a hot fudge sauce over that. We'll see. So, the only thing is I have to be very careful when I do spray my mold because of those chocolate chips. I'm, I'm tempted not even to... Okay, that was enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the microwave um, 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take it out, stir it. If I can manually get those, you know, uh, clumps out, the better. Okay, I'll be back probably in about five minutes. Okay, we are back. This color is going to need a lot of help. It's like a tan color. So what I did was I put both oranges together and some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to get every bit of it out that I can. Okay, more of a peachy. Well, what should we do? I want maybe a little bit more. I'm sorry, I was out of frame. I apologize. Um, I'm going to put in some more of this orange. And then whatever I get, I get. It's just not a real attractive looking color in my eyes anyway. Okay. That's definitely, in my opinion, orange enough to be um, Halloween. But I do, I have a couple clumps I've been trying to really get out and they're not cooperating. So I'm going to um, put this back in and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, the temp, I would say right now, is about uh, 140. I'm not concerned about temperatures with this. I'm hoping, though, these have kind of diminished. I'm hoping that this soap picks it up. Let me do, I probably shouldn't, do that. 
All right, here we go. Oh, I almost forgot the fragrance oil. And I'm doing cinnamon today. And it smells really good. Very strong, but it, it smells like cinnamon sugar. That's even better. Very strong. That was about five mLs right there. Okay. So, make sure that you incorporate your uh, micas and, um, hang on one second here. I just don't know if I should do, do that again, like repeat or just leave this. Okay, so we do want the fragrance oil and the uh, micas to blend up real good. So I'm just going to start pouring them and then we'll let these set and then I'll come back again. So, boy, I can really smell that cinnamon. Okay, just a few more. This part's going to be fast and like I said, well, I'll come back to you in a minute there. Okay, one more. One more. Okay, I'm going to let this set, guys, I would say, for a good uh, couple hours in front of the fan. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, we're back. Now I'm going to go to the second phase of this. All right, so I'm going to have to melt this down. And what I did was I took some black mica right here, and I will put alcohol in here, stir it around, and then put it in to this uh, clear. Okay, I'll be back, guys, in about six minutes. Okay, I'm back. I still have to put this back in the microwave, um, and that's a pretty blue, but like I said, I want it black. So I'm putting in rubbing alcohol and the mica. Boy, these got all stained. Okay, let's use this one. And you really want to make sure this mica is really well absorbed and mixed up. Okay, so, and this, like I said, still has clumps, so it's gonna melt down. But at least, you know, it'll help it blend even more. Okay, I'm running really low on rubbing alcohol. Okay. That's the one big difference between cold process and uh, melt and pour. Melt and pour, you use rubbing alcohol, and you don't use that, as far as I know. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I am not going to have to put this back in. I got all those chunks out. What I'll do is melt like some of these down and maybe put like drizzle on it. I'm, I'm not really sure. I won't know until the, you know, we get there. I still think this needs more black. Let's try the, the uh, this is carbon black. It really should be 20, 20, 20. Now, a few things about the rubbing alcohol. It does dissipate uh, when it's been at room temperature for a little bit. It does go away. And it, it acts like a glue. It allows one layer to, you know, stick to the other layer. Two different soaps. If you don't spray rubbing alcohol and you have, you know, a layered soap, they'll fall apart. The rubbing alcohol will be the glue. Also, the rubbing alcohol is very good for air bubbles. Those are the biggest thing that drive me nuts, are the air bubbles. All right, let's see here. All right, 131. Okay, 119. I'm going to get rocking and rolling here. I just hope that doesn't look blue.
Oh, the cinnamon is really nice. see yeah and now I'm gonna get these air bubbles out because they drag me up the wall okay so I'm just gonna keep going in Hopefully this will behave for us and not set up too quick. Okay. Alright, so that one's done. Go back into this one. The higher you pour, the more penet penetration you're going to get. And when they've been sitting here, they start to harden up, so I tend to pour. Alright, wait a minute here. I think this stove I'm on is on level because it always wants to go to the side. Alright. Yeah, I'm really thickening up here. I'm going to have just enough too. Oh, this is one big blob. Put it in there for a couple seconds. Temp on it. Okay, it's 154, so a little bit too. But I'm going to go for it. Because this is wanting to really set up quick. Okay. I'm going to go back in with this orange. All right, let me try. I can get a tiny bit, not much, of the black and a tiny bit of this orange. Yeah, this is definitely Halloween inspired. The fall is my favorite time as well as my daughters too. They love the fall. I don't think fall lasts long enough in my opinion. But what do I know? Alright. I'm just going to go in here with this. This one's my favorite. That's pretty. Okay, let's get these darn air bubbles out. Okay. 
being a little stubborn. Yeah, this is neat. It's really cool how it fans out like that. Interesting. I really wish I would have had white. That would have just made it all that much better. Um, but I don't have white. Okay, I'm going to let this set, I would say, for a good two hours or so, and then we'll be back. See you then. Okay, so I'm going to slide these down, because these are going to be the base of it, and... I went ahead and done molded one. It's kind of cute. With you could see the chocolate for sure. I mean, it's very it's very light, but okay. I have paint. I excuse me. <laughs> Not dirt. Okay, and you can see none of the residue was on this. It went all on the uh, ice cream. This these molds are unbelievable. That to me, they're very the detail in them is just amazing. They look real. So, I think what I'll do is get some kind of Halloween straws or something, and you know once these are done, I'll flip it over and then put one on it. But I do love this mold. This must be our chunkier one, the first one I did. Okay, so I'm going to let this over here set, um, again, for maybe an hour or two, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I wanted to add, you know, they're not really pronounced, the chocolate chips, so I wanted to see if I could just use the end of my uh, chopstick here and make some. sure you mix it up really good. Okay. So what I'm going to do, let's see. Let me get another one. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to see what, if anything, I can do with this. Yeah, I think if I just kind of do random chips here. I like that. done and I did apply some glitter prior to doing this like I said I really enjoyed this uh, detail this texture of it is I mean it looks just like ice cream it's gonna be a pumpkin ice cream Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, I'm going to work on these two. I'm 
gonna make some a little bigger because they're not always the same size. I keep doing that, I apologize. I keep going out of frame. Because the lighting isn't good and I keep pulling it up and then you don't see it. Okay. Okay, so that's these. Last one. Like I said, I don't really want them perfectly round because chocolate chips usually are not. Now, the rubbing alcohol is going to act like a glue for this, so this, this mica will not come off on you. And the alcohol will definitely vap, uh, evaporate. All right, I think this is enough because I can overdo it very quickly. All right. Let me show you these. Okay, we'll be back, guys, when this sets. Probably another hour or so. See you then.